Hello there folks. This quick video here is going to show just a quick demonstration of Banner Engineering's multi-hop radios being used to talk to multiple different Modbus devices or slaves in the other room. This particular radio here happens to be the master radio for this guy and it happens to have some Modbus 45 cable coming out of it here going over to a 45 port on a Redline HMI you can see both red and green lights are blinking on those ports right there. And here's the overall screen of the HMI. Let me get the glare away here. Now you can't really see it. I actually have six HMIs in the other room. I think one of them's got a 45 port having issues here. But you can see here I've got some counter numbers on each one of them. And uh, this multi up radio is out pulling those guys in the other room. And of course I'm also showing this on a web page on my PC. So that's pretty cool too. So let's go ahead and walk into the room and take a look at where the other HMIs happen to be that are transmitting that data back to this guy. So here we go. We're at the awesome Irving office of ADC and here we go into the fantastical training room that we use all the time, team. This is where it all happens. This is where dreams come true. So if you look here, we've got a, a, a marriage. I just made that word up. We have a bunch of HMIs here. This is from a class I taught this week. So I thought rather than to put the stuff away, I'd leave it out for this test. So here is one of the Modbus uh, other multi-op radios here. This one's set up as a repeater mode, which is talking to this particular HMI right here in front of us. I think it'll say eventually on the screen here, repeater. There it is. By the way, anytime you see the yellow light blinking here, that is when there's 45 comms going into this cable. And this particular HMI here happens to be on my 45 network, happens to be slave number 35. And all I've done on these guys is created a counter that just counts up in seconds. Now this one here is counting up once a second. You see it's been running for uh, 4,600 some seconds. It's bigger math than I can do. But I could easily reset it by doing that. And sets it back to zero. There you go. We'll go look at the main guy here in a second to see it working. Now if I go over to this one, there's another one of those multi-op radios connected here. This one I did a little bit different. On slave number 25 and number 15 we'll get to, I made the counter much quicker on these two just so you can see some speed differences back at the master radio, which I'll point out in a second. And of course here's another multi-op. This number 10 is also showing or number 15, I'm sorry, showing it very fast there as well. By the way, there's one of our training kits. So uh, those are the screens. If we walk around. On this side of the table, we've got our other devices here cranking away. This guy here is number 45. This one here should be number 55. This is the one that's not quite talking. I don't know if the 45 port is out, but we won't we don't see any blinky blinky. See no blinky blinky, no blinky yellow light. But if we go over to this one, oh, maybe I've got a conflict. We'll see. But we got blinky blinky here. Okay, so let's go back to the other room. Again, just to point out, this is our awesome training room here in Irving, Texas. And here's my kits ready to go on the road, teaching another set of classes next week. So if you ever get a chance, team, try to make it to the ADC uh, office for class. It's a fun place, works out great. Let's go over here, go back into our conference room here. How you doing? So again, all through the multi op radio, this guy right here. And what I wanted to show you here is uh, we had reset this one. So we're a little over a minute and a half into our time here. This guy is roughly counting once a second. So if you watch the counts on this guy, looks like our throughput's getting us about Every two seconds, we're getting an update. But this one and this one, uh, these counters are running much faster on these particular guys. So you're going to see the number jump quite a bit more. And I also set it up to where I could read. Remember, while I was out there, I reset one of these. So if I hit the button here, I should be able to reset it. Let's see here, team. There it goes back to one. Once I let it go, it should start counting again. And you can see the sequence. How about this guy? There we go. So I'm just showing a quick demo of uh, using Banner's multi-hop radios 
to talk to multiple Modbus RTU devices out in the field. And again, there's the radio right there. And I believe this is the DR9M, uh, yeah, DX80 DR9MH2C, which has the terminals on the side, which is really nice for wiring. Anyway, there's a little quick video with the banner products. Hey, have a great day, folks. See you all later.